Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Zoo Crafting. Da, 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 da. Today we've gotta go on a what what am I doing? What am I doing? We've gotta go on a little quest. We've gotta go get some stuff, because I'm working on a super special thing. It's always I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite parts of Minecraft in general. And then so even for modded Minecraft, I don't know. I just really enjoy this part of base construction of making a home. Um, as you can see, since I'm gathering sugar cane, and you can see here that I have lots of leather, what does that mean? Enchantment, enchantment. I am in the process of making my own little enchantment room, so I thought I would get, bring you guys along for the journey. We've gotta go get some obsidian and some diamonds. I have completely run out of diamonds. I really need to just do some hardcore mindless mining type of thing. <laughs> really need to do some mining. But I wanted to get this done today if possible. So Ben was nice enough to say that we could take a few diamonds from his base that he didn't mind at all. So we're here at Ben's place. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Maybe you've watched the tours, maybe not. I love his home. It has this kind of oriental feel to it. Whoa, he's added other stuff since I've been here too. That whole building wasn't there. But this is looking so cool. I love his base. It's really neat. So he said it would be somewhere in here. Look at all this food. Oh, the sushi, the fish. Oh, it looks so good. He said it would be in here in a cabinet, one of the huge cabinets in his room. We gotta find his room. Is this his room? This looks like... <gasps> There's one diamond. Okay, we just need two, so maybe we can take this one. There's emeralds. Um, wow, he has a lot of safari nets. Does he have any more diamonds? Oh, and he has so much soapy water. Uh, well, I found one diamond. Is that really all he has? Surely not. Surely not. Let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. What else can we put away? We can put away this stuff. Also, real quick, I thought I should mention this. You guys were so nice to tell me in the comments that you cannot put normal oak wood on the chisel. You have to turn it into planks and then you can do all the fancy stuff with it. Doesn't that look nice? So anyway, thank you guys for sharing that in the comments. It's very helpful. I've been using that. Uh, let's hop in the kitchen. Maybe we'll find something. I don't know if that was his bedroom. I don't think that was necessarily... Seems like his bedroom would have a bed, you know? So maybe maybe it's upstairs. That's my guess. That would be my guess. Um, let's go up here. See if maybe we can find it up here. Oh yeah, this looks like a bedroom. Okay, so there's a diamond shovel in there. Ah, there's some diamonds. There we go. So we can take one of these. So we just need two, if I remember correctly. We should only need two. Okay, so we're going to go down. And then we need to go... He said... He said that there should be some lava pits near his base. Oh, I think I see... I think I see one. Oh, look at the bridge! Oh, he built a bridge! This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this! Such a cool base. Okay, let's go around behind this building. And then over this way... He said that he had some lava pits, which I would be welcome to pour water on in order to get obsidian. Because I, I couldn't find any lava pits near my base in order to be able to get some obsidian. Which I should have done... I was going to do something else too, which I probably should have done first, but we're going to go ahead and keep going with this. Oh, it's a ravine! Okay, but there's a lava pit further that way. I wonder if we could have brought our chocobo. We probably could have bought, brought bean dip with us, or kiva. I've also been really enjoying getting to hear your guys' ideas and get like name ideas. <laughs> I love that you guys get to kind of name the critters on the server. I feel like it's a really fun way that we can interact together. 
Okay, so we just need four pieces. That's not too many. Actually, I think we need six now that I think about it. There we go. And he said this was okay, so I'm gonna take his word for it. All right, okay, let me look this up real quick. Okay, it's right here. I'm gonna make the, there's a normal enchantment table, which takes four pieces, the normal, you know, amount. Then there's the advanced one, which takes an additional two obsidian. I don't have an eye of ender, but I would have everything else. So, ooh, butterfly weed. Let's just put you right there. Okay, so we need to get six. My pick is nearly broken. Hopefully, oh, there is lava underneath. Okay, so we'll do this. And we need six pieces. That way we'll have plenty for our enchantment table. Alright. Mining obsidian always takes a long time. There's like no way to really rush it. Even with an enchanted diamond pick, it's just it's just gonna take a little while. Okay, so we have six right there, perfect. Alright, okay, so now we can head back. We need to head over to Siri's house next, because I want to try something. Some of you guys may have seen a peek whenever I open my inventory of what we're gonna do. There's something else that I wanted to try, and it's about time to do it. So we're gonna head over to series. Not, very, not, I'm not very quick. I'm kind of slow. I kind of hobble along. All right. So we're gonna cross this water. Cross it. Ooh, look at those vines. Oh, I don't have those vines, <laughs> guys. I'm just. Oh no, they're co. Are those. What are those? Pepper splint. Oh, they're peppers. That's really interesting. They're really pretty. I thought they were vines from a distance. Okay, so next we need to go to... <laughs> Mara has so many places. That's so cool. Siri's house. I kind of feel like I should maybe expand and have more than one place. What do you guys think about that? Would that be fun? Okay, we gotta wait for it. Wait for it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Give it a second. Just hold on. It's okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, chameleon, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to Siri's base. I need to write her a note. I don't have anything to write a note, but I need to thank her for those dodo eggs. Oh, look at this garden. Look at all this. It's so pretty. I love her house. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. And she said that we could use this anytime we wanted, so I wanted to try this out. Oh, this is just for armor? Aw, oh, man. I thought it was for, uh, tools, too. Does she have another one for tools, I wonder? This looks like it's all cooking stuff. Aw, oh, bummer. Oh, look at that. Carlos? You're so cute, Carlos! Aw, oh, and there's Primrose. She has a little plant on her head! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, well since we can't do it here, we'll go to option number... <laughs> I almost said option number B. <laughs> we'll go to option B, or option number two, which I believe is the Narine. I'm pretty sure Narine. This is kind of like a little world tour too. We get to kind of see what everybody's up to. Look at this, Coral Gardens. Mine graveyard and beach. This is so cool. I was watching her episodes the other day. Oh look, she's added little stairs. That's so nice. Uh, I was watching her episode of the other from the other day of her working on the coral gardens, and those are looking so cool. So rather than show it to you guys, I'm gonna just tell you to go go watch her episode. It's really cool. Okay, I think she has one in here somewhere. Is it up here? Nope. Is it down? I'm stuck. Stuck on the ladder. I don't see it here. Oh, I thought for sure she had one too. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who am I thinking of? Was it Mara? Whoops. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have one here. I'm not really seeing one. Oh, look at that chocolate ice cream. Doesn't that look fancy? I love chocolate ice cream. Okay. Well, I guess I was thinking of Mara's place. <laughs> We're just gonna go everywhere. We're just gonna travel to all the places. I love Charles. Charles is so cute. Um, nom nom nom. 
I'm guessing it's her little meadow base. I think, okay, maybe it's her. Oh wow, Bert and Benjamin. I'm pretty sure you're her, you're Bert's little kid, aren't you? You guys growed up so big. You guys growed up. Okay, surely Mara has one. This is turning into like the search for a washing machine. Now she also has all of these bushes, so cool. Her enchantment. I thought for sure she had one. Is this one? A washing machine. Okay, it's this, dishwasher. Yes, we found it. <laughs> this is what we wanted. Oh, and she already has soapy water in there. But what I wanted to do is look, okay, you can make soap by doing this. Ta-da! So I'm gonna make a bunch of soap. And then I have a bucket with some water, so I'm gonna make soapy water too to replace it. And then let's just put, I need to wash my pick. Actually, I need to wash all three of those pretty good. That should do the trick, right? Okay, let's go ahead and start it. I wonder how long this takes. I mean, I don't want to stand here too long if it's going to take like... Oh, look at the shovel. Shovel's already going up pretty quick. I saw it. I saw it tick there. And I kind of want to repair these because they're decently good, you know? Until I upgrade to even better ones. It looks like this needs to just run for a while. I wonder if I could... I don't, I don't think it's worth it to wash the boots. Alright, am I going to need these tools? I don't think I need these tools for the rest of the stuff that I need to do today. So I think I will just... Oh, and she has lots of soap there. That's awesome. So I guess I will just leave those washing for now. Maybe we need to do this. Do we need to do that? This is probably the amount of soapy water that's left, huh? So it should be okay there. Okay, now, do you need water in it in order to make soapy water? Yeah. Okay. That was a silly question. That was silly. Okay, so we'll just leave that washing. And let's go back to my base. And I'll show you guys what I've got so far. So far... He said, we still need an Eye of Ender, which I don't have blaze rods, that's the main, or blaze powder, I guess it is. It's blaze powder that we need with the Ender Pearl. I probably have an Ender Pearl somewhere, but. Okay, oh, we need to go over this way. It's dark, it's deadly right now, but we're gonna brave it. Because we are tough. We are tough people. I'm a strong person. So I'm growing all this sugar cane to try and get paper. Oh, hi. I'm just going to leave it growing for now because, well, we don't have enough currently. <laughs> but I have lots of leather, which I already put in my backpack. Also, I wanted to show you guys real quick. The gardens are growing in nicely. Look at that. Look at all those crops. Aren't they pretty? All the tomatoes. So nice. So I'm really excited that the gardens have grown in quite well. So let's go ahead and head over to our house, maybe sleep through the night. And then we can go ahead and at least get our enchanting table made. We won't get the advanced one yet, but we can get a basic enchantment table until we get an Eye of Ender. And then we'll be able to do that too. Okay, slept through the night. Let's go ahead and go down. I wonder if the washing machine will run even though I'm not there. Okay, so what we need is boop, 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 boop. I put an extra one there, but that's okay. The two diamonds and a book. Ta-da! Ah, Enchanter, got an achievement. I love getting achievements. Okay, so let me show you guys. So I've put the enchantment room over here. Look at this, isn't this nice? Been nice, huh? Pretty excited about it. So the enchantment table is gonna go right there and I'll just break it and change it to be the advanced one once we have that. I still need to make a lot more books, but currently I am waiting for more sugar cane so that I can make paper. So then I'll get the full book thing set up. Also, these are some of those oak wood planks using the chisel. I really like how those turned out. And what I wanna do, okay, do I have those with me? Let me check. I do not. Let's go grab those. 
I think they are in here. Yeah, okay, the essence berry bushes. Since these guys are what you need basically for enchantment, because they give you, oh, how do I do this? Ah, like this. Oh, but wait, oh, but wait. We need to uh, do the top ones first. So what we're gonna need to do is this. This is gonna look silly, but there's a reason for it. Okay, because you have to place them on a block, a dirt or something. I don't have my pick with me anymore. Well, I have this pick. This should work. There we go. Let's go ahead and get these as well. Okay. So now I've got the essence berry bushes. And per your guys' instruction last time when I was using the essence berry, or not, but ore berry bushes, uh, these guys have to be in the dark in order to grow and mature. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the walls with the essence berry bushes. That way you can just kind of nom 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 nom, grab the essence, level up, and then enchant right here, all right here. So I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take down these torches on this side. It's going to make it a little bit precarious, so I'm going to go ahead and wall this off, just so that we're decently safe. Let those things grow, that should be enough. Should be enough. And then we just have to get some paper and get some more essence berry bushes, which I feel like I'm just going to have to slowly fill those in as I find them and then upgrade our enchantment table. But that's, you know, I feel like that's a pretty good setup. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to be able to enchant here at my base. I think that's going to be very helpful. And anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I, and feel free to leave a comment or a like or whatever you like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!